curiosity level was at its peak. Billed as the media event of the month, the media mogul arrived Indian style a fashionable one hour late, held up by the Home Minister. Thank you very much. Now the bulletin over. Thank you. <laughs> he had to show the due respect to the minister, I'm afraid. So he's very sorry. There seemed to be some confusion right from the start. Murdoch gamely settled into a rickety chair and like a true pro, prepared to answer questions. I came wanting to spend my time learning about India and I've had to give so much time uh, to talking to you people about myself. Uh, for those of you who haven't already uh, interviewed me or aren't already sick of reading about me, I'm here to answer any questions you have. Even before he could start, his dark-suited black cat type aides whispered asides to him, no need for questions. No, nothing like questions. No questions. No, no, sir. Why have a press conference if the deal is no questions? Luckily, Rupert decided not to heed this advice and plunged into answers on cultural imperialism, censorship and his plans for India. We expect to be a major employer uh, of Indian artistic talent in the making of films, in the making of programs, as well as in the broadcasting of them. We have a contract, a legally binding contract with the BBC and we would um, hope that we could resolve uh, most of these difficulties in conversation with them. As for a, a Hindi channel, uh, we believe that we should be broadcasting more in the Hindi language and as we grow bigger uh, in other languages as well. But what about Murdoch the man, known to be a conservative family person who actually favours censorship of MTV, his personal image is completely opposite to the splashy sensationalist style of his papers. A book on him mentions how he banned sub-editors from wearing coloured shirts and suede shoes because they look like, quote, homos, unquote. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't know what books you've been reading about me. I've made a rule never read any myself, and I don't recommend any. Uh, I've never objected to anybody wearing coloured shirts. I like wearing them myself. Mind you, I don't think coloured shirts have anything to do uh, with good investigative, as you call it, muckraking journalism. After precisely five and a half questions, the aides decided enough was enough and signaled an end to the press conference. Thank, thank, you, th th no, th thank you very much, no more questions. But even though his aides tried to end the press conference, Murdoch carried on informally. Do you plan to take ZTV off the home? No, not at all. No, but no, won't no. they clash directly with your own proposed Hindi channels? You know, there will be yeah, we may well have. We may well have two, two channels very alike, but there, there will be plenty of advertising for both. People attack uh, MTV, which I agree with a bit. But then I watch the Hindi movies. I don't know what people are talking about, but we're not going to interfere in any internal affairs in India. We, we have no political agenda at all. We asked him a question about a former editor of the London Times, Harold Evans, who wrote that Murdoch's legendary charm seduced him at first, but he finally turned out to be a monster to work with. Who said this? <laughs> Harold Evans, the London Times. Uh, Harold Evans uh, joined me because he was desperate to edit the Times. It was a very powerful position. And I had to get rid of him because he failed. The circulation went down and no one knew what it stood for. And uh, we gave him a very generous settlement and he went off and wrote a very nasty book. So that's, that's life. I can, we'll get over that. Somebody would like to see you. Is this the charming gentleman or the monster as well? I hope I'm never a man. <laughs> At this point, after having tea, no coffee. No coffee, no. coffee. The circus then shifted its arena to the bar, where Murdoch sampled the obligatory Indian beer. That's good beer. Mm. Like Australian beer. <laughs> like a lager. <laughs> Was it a press conference or an audition for the media baron?